Thank you. Paul Treasurer Lamacusa here. Commissioner Tinta Malesa here. Commissioner Malloy here. Commissioner Fleshko absent. Clerk of Courts Allen here. A motion to accept the minutes of the July 26, 2023 meeting is in order. Yeah. Make that motion. Second. Malloy, roll call. Malaysia. Yes. Malloy. Yes. Allen. Yes. Lamacusa. Yes. Item three: review of the third quarter 2023 investment reports. Here to do that review is Chief Deputy Peter Hart. As Sam said, I'm going to be reviewing the third quarter reports for you today. First item in your packet, if you want to follow along with on the treasurer's letterhead, is our transmittal letter. It details the contents of the reporting packet. Let's move on to our um, first reported system. At a total of 144.3 million invested. Um, the reports are in your I'm going to take a couple minutes. A year ago, at the end of September, at the end of December, it advanced to four point. At the end of June, our last quarter here, it was at 5.28. Current quarter at the end of September. As of yesterday, it was still the same at 5.56%. Treasurer Lamacusa will continue to monitor the rates and make um, adjustments to the portfolio allocations as necessary. With regards to the Fed funds, real quickly, um, that rate was increased by a quarter of a base or a quarter of a percent in July, as we mentioned at our last meeting, bringing the current Fed fund range to 5.25 percent. 
to 5.50%. Uh, there was no change at the September Fed meeting and the next meeting is next week and it's not likely that they'll make an increase at that time, at least not as of this morning when I looked at our recent news. So now let's move on to page two. This is the first of our CD reports, it's our interest history. And as you can see, we do not have any interest to report for the quarter. Page three is our purchase report for CDs. There were no purchases made. And page four is the inventory and it reflects that there were no transactions or balances to report at the end of September. Now we're gonna move on to page five, which is the first of our security reports. It's our interest history. During the quarter, we received 22 payments for interest on our securities. The low rate was 0.3% and the high rate was 5%. The total interest for the quarter on the securities is $198,787.50. If we move over to page six, this is our purchase report. It shows that during the quarter, Treasury Lamacusa purchased two securities. The first was an FHLMC for $1 million. It has a monthly call starting um, in October, on October 27th. It settled on sept excuse me, 727 and will mature on 727 of 28. It has a fixed coupon of 6%. The second item he invested in was a FHLB. It is for a million dollars. It has a quarterly call starting in January of 24 and it matures on 425.25. So it has a term of 1.75 years and it has a fixed rate of 5.55%. Moving on, pages seven through 11 include the inventory report for the securities. At the top in red, you can see that in July and August, we did not have anything that matured or called. However, in September, we did have 2 million that matured. It was a one year um, FHLB and it had a fixed coupon of 4.02% and it gave us um, in September, 40,200 in interest, and for the year, 80,400 in interest. The next two items there that are listed um, mature actually next month. In November, on November 22nd and November 24th, we have a million each maturing. Then the remaining items are listed in outstanding order of maturity. And the new ones that we purchased during the quarter are listed on page 8 and 11, and they're shown as bold red font, so you can see where they were incorporated. If we move over to page 11, you can see that for July, we posted $59,712.50 in interest, August $98,875 in interest, and September $40,200 in interest, bringing our year-to-date total for the securities to $585,715.28. With regards to the balances, um, at the beginning of the quarter, we started with 54,775,000, and that's where we ended as we had 2 million mature and 2 million was invested. The bar graph there shows that we have securities maturing as close as quarter of a year out, which would be in November, all the way to 4.75 years out. The furthest we can go here is five years in general. If we move over to page 12, this is our interest versus fees comparison. Um, it shows that we had net bank fees posted for the year as of September 30th of $823.28. Now with regards to interest, the 2023 budgeted interest revenue that we submitted in the fall of 2022 was $3,654,222.07. Treasurer Lamacusa submitted a letter to the auditor in July after our last IAC meeting, increasing our estimate to $5 million for 2023. The actual interest receipts that you can see reflected here of $3,848,915.81 reflect that we are on track to meet that budget and we believe we'll actually exceed it. Therefore, we will be submitting a letter to the auditor's office today to increase that estimate for 2023 to $5,200,000. The last item that we have in our packet is our form six, which we prepare every day. Um, this is the last form six for the month of September. The first page just reflects the receipts and the disbursements that flow through the treasurer's office on that day. 
And then the second page there reflects the balances of the funds and where they're actually located at, including the investments that we just reviewed. So this concludes on my report. Thank you very much. Any questions for us? Okay. No questions or motions in order to accept the report. Make a motion. Motion. <laughs> Canton Malaysia, second. Second. Malloy. Canton Malaysia. Yes. Malloy. Yes. Allen. Yes. Lamacusa. Yes. That's item four on your packet. It should be new business. Old business. I'm sorry. I have none. Nothing. Four. Item five, new business. I have none. None to report. Item six, during no standing committee. Or... Item seven, public comments. Uh, item eight, motion by Kansas Malaysia to adjourn. Make that motion. Second. Second. Paul Kansas Malaysia. Yes. Malloy. Yes. Allen. Yes. Lamacusa. Yes. Thank you, folks. Thank you. We're on a hell of a meeting, Sam. We're on a